Hello friends and welcome again to our channel. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Today we decided to make pizza. So we're making home, homemade pizza and we are using this new product. I picked up this product on Facebook Marketplace. It was a great deal and it was in a great shape. So we're gonna give it a try and see how it performs. You can join us on how it's going to do this. And inside we have our uh, dough and toppings um, ready. We've made the dough yesterday and and inside we have our dough ready. We made the dough yesterday. Uh, we let it rise and then we cut it into individuals. Now we took them out of the fridge, let them rest. We're gonna start uh, spreading the dough into pizza size. Um, this is the size that we're going for. Here's our sauce. We made our sauce as well. We made it a while back. Just pulled this out of the freezer last night and now um, it's getting room temperature so it can go on the pizza. Uh, if you have questions or you'd like to know how we make our dough and how we make our pizza sauce, leave a comment in the comment section and then we can make a video just for that particular topping. Uh, for our toppings, we're doing chicken and feta, and then we're doing olives um, and mushrooms, and then a little bit of onion is going to go on, on everything. We did get some zucchini from the garden, so I am tempted to put some zucchini on there. So yeah, I'm going to start working on getting the dough together, keep an eye on the fire outside. And this is gonna be, as we mentioned, the first time we use um, our oven, uh, wood burning oven that we've recently acquired. All right, the fire is ready. We put the oven right on top and it's starting to heat up. Uh, we're gonna let it rise. And in the meantime, we're gonna attend to our dough. The dough is resting in the kitchen on the island welcome to our home and we spread the uh, the the dough pieces and they're flat so they're resting now we're gonna start preparing each pizza by the time the pizzas are ready the fire and the oven should be hot enough to put those pizzas in there again we got some cheese mozzarella cheese and then feta cheese are our veggie toppings and our protein. We're not doing uh, the traditional toppings like pepperoni, bacon. Um, we want to keep this uh, uh, nice and authentic. Uh, we will make some of those on another time, but for, for this time around, our toppings are mostly veggies and cheeses and then just the chicken. All right, we just made our first pizza. It's ready to go in the oven. Uh, wish us luck and uh, this is unedited raw footage we're taking the we're taking the uh, pizza straight into the oven and then can you get me a spatula please that didn't work out the pizza didn't want to come off the uh, the shovel so we had to improvise so we transferred it to our pizza stone which is not supposed to be needed but we have to figure out we might have to buy a different uh, pizza shovel in the meantime this pizza is in the oven at 600 degrees and then we'll see how long it's gonna take I think this is gonna turn out really delicious and yummy okay so we got the second pizza ready we're gonna go out there and get that other pizza out of the oven I think it's all done um, so where did we put the shovel? Okay, it's right here. All right, this pizza is coming right up. The first pizza came out. It's a total success. Can't wait to taste it. But right now we gotta put the next pizza in. So this pizza is on its way. We did a veggie one, onion, mushroom, sauteed mushroom. We like to saute our mushrooms before we uh, put them on a pizza. 
they are fresh mushrooms green olives and black olives our green olive has oh sorry the smoke hit me okay okay so this is the first piece that we made we just sliced it we're gonna take a look at one of the slices and check out the quality okay the dough looks cooked from all sizes so just took a bite and had to eat it and figure out the texture so the 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 pizza is really good tastes really good you can definitely uh, experience that uh, open fire wood burning um, pizza oven I I would keep it in there a little bit longer I think uh, for the next one I'm gonna leave it in there a little longer the edges look like they compared to my previous experiences making pizza inside um, I guess with the with the pizza oven uh, the wood burning oven the the ends just gonna have to burn a little bit more to get the interior the inside but overall it's really good so the second one we'll just leave it in there a little bit longer and I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy more of this delicious pizza the second pizza on a little longer and I think this one is going to be perfect but we have to put the third pizza in and then we can come back and cut this and see how this one turned out but taste wise the first one was success and now we're putting um, the second one in so this is heavy I gotta concentrate all right here we go we're going to the oven and you're coming with us okay this is in the oven and it's gonna need a little bit more time <clears throat> this one I'm gonna time to make sure I remember how long each one it takes and we've got 600 so we're gonna add some wood but 600 is pretty good okay so the second pizza just got sliced this one is definitely a lot more cooked maybe we need to cook it a little bit less the edges are burning faster than the inside but the inside is pretty good so we're gonna give this one a taste and let you know how it tastes i'm sure it's gonna taste just as good but yes the bread is cooking all the way through and yeah wish you were here to enjoy it with us okay we finished the first jar of pizza sauce we needed another one so we had that one uh, thawing we i, I kind of knew that uh, uh, from the get-go that i'm gonna need another one uh, this is really good sauce we'll um, maybe make a video just on how we make the sauce we're down to two pizzas out of seven here's another one looks really great and it tastes amazing and then this is another one um, and then there's I think the first two that we basically devoured mostly um, <clears throat> we had to refeed the uh, bonfire we can show you real quick with wood to keep the the wood oven the camp chef going and now there's a pizza in it um another one that's cooking the temperature kind of dropped from 600 to 500 so we loaded it up with wood and once that gets going it'll uh, <coughs> it'll heat up again um i positioned it against the wind so that the because i don't have a cover to close the front and um, so, so the inside stays warm so a lot of the wind are coming from this direction but I mean wind you never know what wind likes to do so every five seconds it changes direction but overall I think the camp chef is definitely a must-have um, I'm happy that I got it I didn't buy it new this was, was from marketplace it wasn't in new condition um, I think it was just used a couple of times in the description and I could tell from the way um, it looked that it was barely used. I think this is a, a good product to have. It gives you the best of both worlds. You know, building your own brick pizza oven is definitely the right way to go, but that can be very expensive. What you got here is you got the best of both worlds. You get that, you know, firewood um, experience and taste in your pizza. And then you get 
something that is extremely aff affordable when you compare it to a brick uh, pizza oven and also it's very unique that this can be used on open fire or on a gas stove they do sell an attachment um, a gas or a propane powered attach attachment that you can put this on top <clears throat> and also you can take it with you anywhere you go unlike a brick uh, pizza oven that's gonna cost you thousands of dollars compared to this that you can't take anywhere it has to be you know decide on the location that you're gonna have it in and instead what you got here is almost uh, uh, you know the best of both worlds I think this is a very good idea and um, I might consider buying the door for it. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, um, but I think it would. I'm pretty happy with the results. The pizza tasted amazing. I mean, there's more to making pizza than the oven you're using. The oven is one of the essential ingredients or uh, tools that you must have in order to produce really good pizza. Um, but, <clears throat> You know the dough making the right dough using the right ingredients um the, the pizza sauce i mean a lot of the flavor is gonna come from the pizza ingredients so one drawback on this particular um idea is that it's definitely hard to manage by yourself you know if you if you and your spouse or you and your partner or you and your friends um want to collaborate and make it a teamwork that's definitely a good way to to bond or to um, gather and, and then do but doing this all by myself is not easy because somebody needs to be here attending to the fire attending to the pizza and somebody has to be inside preparing the next pizza and then it's go 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 so on top of that I'm, I'm making a, a YouTube video out of it on the fly this was not planned I just thought this is the first time I'm using it and then again so this is the first I am using it the first time I am using it and um, so I'm learning on the go with you guys and I think I did pretty well I'd like to think I mean we're, we're producing seven pizzas that are super delicious and making a YouTube video so thank you for joining us I hope you like the, the video that Trying to share what we can with you guys and uh, hopefully this inspired you to to make your own uh, pizza and uh, maybe uh, you know on an open fire I might if I find a, a certain location that I like the most I might build out of brick just a foundation based on the dimension where I can have the fire inside and this way it would be easier to feed it with more wood if I need to than using my bonfire as you can see this is like very um, on the fly raw there's no editing it's it's on the go and you're just it's basically you guys are hanging out with us and as we are doing our daily routine this just happened to be a, a new experience that we wanted to try for a while um, so yeah, uh, the only the only sad part is that you guys won't be able to try the yummy pizza that we're making, but uh, we're gonna be enjoying these pizzas definitely for the next couple of days because we're making seven and and I already feel stuffed and we haven't even, we haven't even finished the first two, but I ate I ate really fast because because yeah I'm doing all of this and also eating, um, uh, so that's that's a lot at, all at once the pizza was just too good to after trying the first sl slice to just leave it alone in the plate so every time I, I go buy it I'm grabbing another bite so this is the last pizza it's in the oven right now and boy is the smoke likes to follow me around Ugh, I can't even talk um, we had some leftover pizza sauce and we decided oh we're just gonna put it on top you know it's all about being efficient on our channel Oof, that wind today 
decided to be a windy day when we wanted to do this so you can uh, plan a pretty picnic but you can't predict the weather i guess as they say so here we are on our last pizza this is pizza number seven and the toppings on this one just had to be whatever is left so this is the leftover of the pizza the extra sauce the leftover olives the leftover mushrooms there's a few mushrooms in there but mostly feta cheese and chicken uh, it has more chicken than the other ones because there was a little bit extra and it was all right so we piled up everything on the last pizza and i think it's gonna taste the best what do you guys think um so yeah thank you for your time i hope you like this video we just shot this video on the fly in the middle of our dinner obviously this is gonna be our dinner today and uh we hope you we hope you enjoy um watching videos on our channel we try to keep it uh random and uh, not stick to a specific uh, topic it's more about entertaining and informing and helping you guys connect with us um, so yeah i think i really like this uh item this uh, pizza oven or uh, camp chef uh, i guess that's that's a good name to have because you know you can throw this in the back of your car obviously when it cools off and uh, take it uh, on a camping trip or take it wherever you want or take it to your friend's house if unlike having your traditional uh, brick pizza oven which limits you to your location this is could be a mobile thing now another thing that this is not just for pizzas you can bake pies you can cook roast beef i mean as long as you don't do something that's gonna spill and make a mess and potentially crack the stone uh you could throw it in here and it will cook um yeah so this was uh, my first try I, I definitely need to improvise on, on a few things it was hard to feed it wood it's definitely something that uh, not easy to do alone and uh but i think it was fun and we have plenty of delicious pizza to enjoy right now so thank you for your time please um you know like and follow subscribe and let us know in the comment what you think.